Uh, all right. Hello, everybody. Hello, Olga. Welcome back to Chaos Child. Last time. Oh, boy. That was a big one. We had... Ito go berserk under mind control and just brutally, brutally murder Yui. And, oh, hello, say a hello, Exec, welcome to the stream. Hello, Void Dweller, welcome to the stream. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that, Void. Hello, March, welcome to the stream. Hello, Nagitona, welcome to the stream. <laughs> All right. So, with this, Nona, Nona, Nono, thankfully, has figured out that the uh, Ito was under mind control. Prob most likely, the, oh, hello, Jimbo, welcome to the stream. Most likely, under the control of the real Senri, who seems to be working from the shadows. Hello, Liss, welcome to the stream. In order to keep up with this misguided revenge... Hello, Light Arimura. Welcome to the stream. All right, let's get back into it. The autopsy, the police interviews, all of that came to an end. And Yui's body was sent in for cremation. Her soul became thin, pure white smoke and soared up to the heavens. That's okay, Olga. Caruso and I stood between the trees at the funeral home and watched it rise. They say crematoriums now use filters and stuff. So they only give off clean smoke. Mm. Huh. I'd said something that didn't matter, and Caruso would only half listen. We'd been doing that for a while now. Oh, God. What must you two be going through? Dad was probably in the room where the family waited for the cremation to finish, holding Yuto in his strong arms the whole time. Yamazoe, Serika, Arimura, and Kazuki were probably watching, but they couldn't do anything. Fushigine. It's... Strange, you know. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't cry so much. 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 I didn't cry and I couldn't stop crying. But now I'm okay. Now I'm thinking about the cost of the funeral and what to do for a grave. I guess I'm a heartless girl. Even as she spoke, she looked thin and frail from her suffering, but there was a light like grey flame in her eyes. I'd never seen her look like that before. Hello, gone to heaven. Welcome to the stream. No, there's no one else who can do that stuff but you. Dad looks so out of it these days. So, Kana. 
There isn't. So there. Yes. Besides, I'd already heard the muffled sobs that came from Clarissa's room late at night. After that, I'd moved back to Alvador from the RV. Kurusu, Yuto, Yamazoe, and Dad. All of them were shocked and saddened by Yui's death. If I were to leave them too. I couldn't bear the idea of a lonely Alvador. Without me or Yui. And when I was alone, I found myself remembering Yui, and I'd feel like I was going to go crazy. So, I wanted to be with someone I could share my sorrows with. I was about to learn that this was what the family I'd tried to abandon was for, but... For now, my head was full of thoughts of finding the person who'd done this to Yui. Takuru. Takuru? Hmm? Hmm? Sogi ga owatta ra, skoshi yasumu to ii wa. Anata hidoi kao shite ru. Once the funeral's over, get a little rest. You don't look so good. Sore wa odagai sama da. Omae da te chanto yasum de nai da ro. Neither do you. You haven't gotten any rest either, right? Datte, yoru nemure nai nda mono. Osoroshii yume bakari mite shimatte. Nankai mo tobi okite. I can't sleep at night. I have all these bad dreams, and I keep waking up. Listen. Caruso tightened her hands into small fists. Just for one night. Can I sleep in your room? Huh? Hmm? Uh, of course not. I wanted to immediately refuse, but she looked so tired and kept telling me that she couldn't sleep by herself, so I had no choice but to silently nod. I was thinking that too, Void Dweller, but I didn't want to say it. It's too too much of a serious moment. When nothing was left of Yui but tiny white fragments. We used chopsticks to move her to the earth. Only after she'd lost most of her weight and fit inside the tiny urn did she finally attain a normal death. That was one weight off my shoulders. I didn't want her to stay in that horrible state forever. Yuto was shaking the whole time he'd moved his sister's ashes into the urn. But his eyes were empty, looking at nothing, and he wasn't screaming or crying. While he was classmates and teachers sobbed, he did his work mechanically, with trembling hands. When it was done, he turned his empty eyes once more on what was left of his sister. Yuto, I'll find out who really did this. 
I promise you. But he said nothing back to me. The funeral ended without incident. Uki and Dad took Yuta back home by taxi. Karusu and I said our goodbyes to Serika, Arimura, and Kazuki, then headed for home. We were walking slowly. Yuto, are you I wonder if Yuto is okay. Kurusu and Tosa are here. He's got you and Dad, and more than anything, Yamazoe is with him all the time. Who would have expected Yamazoe to become like something for you to use as like, like in place of Yui? Just who would have even thought that would be a thing? The loss of Yuto's sister had brought back his PTSD, to the point where he was just as bad as he'd been after the earthquake. He'd mostly lost the ability to speak. <laughs> he'd become extremely afraid of the dark, and sometimes he would go into convulsions. He'd been given special permission to leave the house to attend Yui's funeral, but normally he wasn't even allowed to sleep in his room. Dad has decided to put him up in a room in our clinic. It's strange how it worked out. Huh. Huh? It was Yamazoe Uki, of all people, who was doing everything she could to take care of him. Yeah, seriously. It felt like the reason we'd saved her and brought her to Alba Dawn was so that she, Yui's old friend, could take care of him in his hour of need. When I told her that, Caruso looked sad. It's just a coincidence, was all she said. <laughs> Listen, Takuru. About Uki-chan. Hmm? Hmm? If you don't mind, could you start calling her by her first name? Hmm? Oh my god, we're back to this. Oh god, wow. This is a callback to the very beginning of the story. I felt that pain in the depths of my chest again. Around six months ago, I'd switched from calling her Nono to Caruso. Looking back, the reason was so stupid that just thinking about it made me mad. But part of me was stubborn, and part of me felt just a little too embarrassed. So I'd missed the chance to switch back. I knew that sometimes it made Caruso sad. So, I don't mind, but would it bother Yamazoe? Uki-chan actually said that she liked it when other people called her by her first name. That she felt like she'd become part of the Upper Dorm's family. Oh. 
ウキちゃんには家族みたいじゃなくて本当の家族になってほしいなってそう思うから Oh no no it's such a sweet person oh my god that I don't just want her to feel like she's part of the family I want her to really be part of the family ね you know Bruce has smiled. Probably for the first time today. Makata Yamazoe Janakute Uki No Dogai. All right. You want me to call her Uki? Not Yamazoe, right? I can do that. Arigato Kanojani mo itokua Takuru no koto, namae de yonde eat. Thank you. I'll tell her that she can call you Takuru too. No. Yes. Ato, sore da ったら sa. Oh, and then. Now's your chance, Taku. Hmm. Hmm. Then should I? Can I start calling you Nono again? Just as I was about to ask her that. Miyashio-kun, Kurusu-san? Uh... Miyashiro-kun, Kurusu-san. Who is this? Oi? Yes? We suddenly heard a voice and turned around. Oh, it's Shinjo. Shinjo-san was standing there. He must have felt responsible for what happened, because there was no sign of his usual vitality. He mostly stared at the ground. I'm sorry. I want to go to the funeral, but I guess I didn't make it. So don't you don't have to worry about that. You're busy with work, right? Hello, next tour, and welcome to the stream. The examination at the hospital took longer than I thought. Cancel. Examination? I'm guessing of Ito's head. Ito Kun's. The silence that had developed between Caruso and I shattered in an instant. Oh, he's still alive? I thought he killed himself. Oh my god. What? He's woken up. What? Oh my god. Well, I thought he was dead. Let us see him, please. But Shinjo san shook his head. Yeah. Oh. Wow, I, I can't believe he's alive. Uh, like, didn't his head split open? My god! What the- wow! No, he's still in a coma. So, this guy. Oh, he is? I- I see. You'd think that... Yeah, that's what I thought. You'd think that, like, the freaking, um... Ah, I for... I can't... Ah, I have a brain fart about her name. Fucking... Senri would, uh... Have fail-safe against that and just 
freaking thrown a kill switch and just made him just die. Because didn't Senri just uh, do that to all the others? Like, jeez. But I can't even imagine what he'd be feeling when he woke up. To be controlled like that. And to have killed his best friend's sister. Oh my god. Like, what is even going to happen to him? But his brain showed the symptoms we'd expected. <laughs> Swelling. Ah, Dino's skin Yeah, his cerebral neocortex is extremely enlarged. Gunasato-san says it's more severe than anything she's ever seen before. So he was like super, he must have been like directly piloted. I wonder if he's even going to remember anything. She says that it's because he was subject to very strong mind control for such a long time. What is, yeah, what, like, there's no laws to even deal with this kind of thing. How, what would happen to him? I assume he'd be put into, like, witness protection or something, moved to, like, I don't know, Hokkaido or something. Then he's innocent, right? I didn't want to think that my best friend had killed Yui of his own free will. I wanted to believe that he was someone else's puppet, like Caruso had said. Yep. It's gotta be the real Senri. Like, with that stated motivation, like, who else could it possibly be? Unless there really was someone in love with Senri, like... Like, uh, it's either someone who was in love with Senri or like, or it's Senri herself. Like, or maybe, you know, Senri even did something. Maybe it's like a freaking root double situation where, uh, Senri mind jumped into like one of the doctors or something. Or hell, maybe like Senri's consciousness is living inside Taku. Maybe that's why he went into a coma for like a long time after the whole earthquake thing, you know? Like... Maybe Senri's consciousness is living within other people and, like, jumping around. Huh, jeez. But, uh, it does seem like a... Like, I can't imagine... Like, this whole thing is so focused on Senri. It has to be either her or someone that is closely connected to her. that we probably don't know about. Maybe it's that one teacher that we saw like this, he had a, 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 a like a, a sprite, like in the very beginning of the story and then hasn't showed up again. Like, I don't know. Like maybe he was Sen Senri's father or maybe Senri had um, jumped in into him or something somehow. I don't know, but it's got to have some definitely like Senri is involved in this. Like if not the, the killer, then uh, she is absolutely the motive. You're right. There's someone else who was controlling him. That's what I think, at least. But there was some hesitation in his voice. ただ、実行犯が伊藤君であることに変わりはない。君たちや俺や久野里さんなら、思考誘導がいかに強力なものか理解できるし、伊藤君には罪がないと言い切れるが… 
whoever this is, uh, which is probably Senri, it's got to be... Uh, Kawahara. <laughs> yeah, right. Kawahara. I would be completely shocked if he came back to be like the ultimate boss. Kawahara is focused on no no, though. Like, uh. Oh my god. Whoever it is, though, they're definitely getting Delusion Reaver. Like, uh. Because that was, uh, Neurose. That was the thing I gave to Nerose, and he's all into, into the whole mind control shtick, so. Most likely Senri, but whoever it is getting is getting Delusion Reaver as opposed to Delusion Driver. Let's see. Alright, back to the story. Well, that doesn't change the fact that he did it. You, Kinesato, son, and I know how powerful mind control can be. So we can say for sure that he did nothing wrong. However, like is there a law? There. Cyborg Nerose. I suppose. I suppose he's hanging out with Cyborg Jingu, eh? <laughs> in, in Kamurocho, plotting his return. Hilarious list. <laughs> oh my God! Of course. The other investigators, no, the prosecution and the judge, are likely to see it differently. Of course, so is the rest of the world. Yeah. There's no way to explain that, like, on, officially on the books. I think the best thing you could do is, like, hide him away somewhere. もちろん、クルスさんの証言をもとに、彼が洗脳のようなものを受けていたという線で、捜査を進めているが、捜査員はみんな混乱してしまっている。Of course, we're considering the possibility of brainwashing based off of Kurusu-san's testimony. But none of the investigators are quite sure what to do with it. There is just too much that doesn't make sense, and too much that we can't back up with evidence. This goes all way... Oh, this all goes way beyond what we normally handle. I'm surprised there's no, like, supernatural crimes division here. Like, like given, like, how the science adventure universe is, I'm kind of shocked that there's, like, no official division to deal with it at this point in the story. We can't start blabbing about gigalomaniacs and psychic powers, can we? I mean, in, per in Persona, they have, like, a whole, like... They're, like, intertwined with the government, but, like... Uh, like, a uh, science adventure world, the government seems, like, woefully behind on all this uh, sci-fi magic stuff. It's, it's weird, because we know from uh, Steins Gate that... And Steins Gate Zero, especially, that... Other countries have been experimenting with, you know, this sci-fi technology. Shinjo-san bit his lip. That's only one reason the rest of the department is starting to question how I'm handling this case. There's a lot of evidence showing up that's not good for Ito-kun either. Really? What do you mean? For instance, do you remember that threatening call that Ito Kun got from your phone after you lost it? Hi. Huh? Oh, 
Hello, Paolo. Welcome to the stream. Yes. Uh huh? Wait. Was that Ito? Wasn't Ito in the room? But how? Tanjun no trick that. Kare no smartphone ni nise no chakushin to denwa bango o hyoji suru apuri ga install shite atte. What? Miyashiro kun no nanai to denwa bango ga tooroku sarete ita yo. What? Oh shit. It was a simple trick. It was an app on his phone that would display a fake call and fake caller info. And it had your name and phone number registered on it. Huh? Oh. So that was it. Why didn't I realize that? I'd known there was a freeware app that could do that. I remembered hearing how you were supposed to use it to end conversations with people you didn't want to talk to or get out of meetings. Ato, kare no pasokon kara... And we found these strange chat logs on his computer. What? So, Ito was the one on the computer. Chat? Chat logs. He was talking to Hideriko that whole time. Oh my god. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Does the name Ed Lucas mean anything to you? There we, yeah, there we go. Ed Lucas. Ed Lucas? That's- Oh my god! I did not- I did not expect it to be Ito! I really, really, really thought it was Kazuki! Who's that? Both Caruso and I look confused. Neither of us had heard that name before. So, uh, Ami chan wa? Then, what about Ami chan? Ah, so then, oh, I know that. Toshi Densetsu. No. That's the urban legend. That was the character I snuck into Age Tokyo General Hospital to find when I was a kid. Well, we know who that is. That that was actually Shogun. その not that one. Logs of those two nicknames chatting were found on Ito Kun's computer. Ed Lucas was Ito Kun's handle. チャットの内容は一連の殺人や宮城君を監視しているような内容ばかり。Oh my god. So, oh god. What? So. Senri or whoever, probably Senri, was using Ito as a proxy for a very long time. Oh wow. The chat logs consisted of a discussion of the murders. Lots of detailed observations about you, Miyashiro kun. It's more than enough for a motive. Sonna! That can't be! Demo, Sonna chat to Ito so sasereba. Shinhani no tegakarini. But if you can find out who he was chatting with, that's a clue! But Shinjo san bowled his hands into fists. Mochiro, Saiba Hanzai Taisakani, Shirabe Sasetayo. The 
course, I had the Cyber Crimes Division look into it. So yeah, it's got to be Giggle and Maniac doing it. What they found was that Ami-chan didn't exist. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? Whoa. That can't be true. Wait a minute. Was I wait whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, was I right about the whole like Senri had jumped inside someone else's consciousness? Someone else's body and like sharing it with them? What? Let me show him was also Ito Kun. He was talking to himself. But that's impossible. How? これは久野里さんの説だが、伊藤君の心は長期にわたる思考誘導のせいで、すでに壊れていたんじゃないかと。yeah, I yeah that that makes sense. This is Kunasato-san's theory, but she thinks that Ito-kun's mind had already been destroyed by being subject to mind control over an extended period of time. だが法廷で思考誘導という能力の存在が認められない以上、非常にまずい証拠になる。but since mind control won't be recognized in a court of law, this evidence is extremely damaging to him. It includes information that only the killer could know. A new rage was building up within me. Whoever did that to Yui also had put Ito's mind under so much stress that it had shattered. Damn it all! I kicked a small rock at my feet. The rock collided with a nearby wall and split in two. Shinjo-san, what's going to happen to Ito at this rate? I mean, legally. Yeah, seriously. I don't know. He's a minor, but given what he's accused of. But that would change if the real killer is caught, right? They could lessen the charges then? The last target is either going to be Serika or No No. It's got to. I don't think it's Nono, because, like, she was Senri's friend. And, like, I... But, uh, uh, maybe Senri would be angry at her for siding with Taku? I don't know. But, it's either going to be Nono or Serika, who is the final target of murder. My big question is, what is the whole point of making it line up with uh, the original fucking uh, new gen murders? Like, they so far seem to have nothing to do with each other. Even though they both involve giggle and maniacs. No. You just focus on protecting yourselves. I'll find the killer. Shinjo-san must have realized what I was trying to say. Because they cut me off. Find him? Where are you even going to start looking? And even if you do find a killer, what can you do against a giggler maniac? 
You haven't been able to do anything so far! That's why you and Ito! This wasn't fair. I knew it wasn't fair to him, but I was so frustrated and angry that I couldn't stop myself. Takuru? Takuru? Shinjo-san's doing everything he can. It's not right to blame him for any of this. I looked at Shinjo-san's face, then looked away. He had the same pained look on his face that we had a moment ago. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. God, he must feel like That's true. So far, they've only targeted Gigalomaniacs. And I wonder what, like, the, the first couple of victims seem to be just random gigalomaniacs completely unconnected. And then they slowly, like, became more and more related to Takuto. It's kind of weird that way. I don't know. It feels like, it feels almost like there, th there's two people still. And that the original killer, who was just going after Gigglemaniacs, was caught by the person, the mole in our group, which might be Ito. And uh, maybe, hell, it could still be Kazuki. And uh, they kind of made them switch focus from ordinary Gigglemaniacs to focusing on Takaru. And the only motive I can see is... Uh, uh, Senri. No, you're absolutely right. I still don't know how to apologize to you. けれど、頼むから命を危険にさらすような真似はしないでくれ。特に宮城君、11月4日に何かしようと考えているのなら。But please, don't put your lives in danger. Especially you, Miyashiro-kun. You're thinking about doing something on November 4th. November 4th? New generation of the new generation. The last day of the last new generation is the last the day of the last new generation madness incident. That means that the killer will do something on that day. Shinjo-san's expression became even more pained. So that's why, Miyashiro-kun. No luck, huh? He must have seen how strong my resolve was. Because he turned toward Kurusu. Kurusu san? Kurusu san? Hi. Yes. Doyera, ore kara tanon demo mudarashi. Miyashiro kun ga okashina koto shinayo, mi hatte te kure naika. Orewa korejo, gi se sha o tashtakunai. Looks like he's not going to listen to me. You keep an eye on him and make sure he doesn't do anything. I don't want any more victims. Caruso quietly nodded. I understand. I'll 
I'll watch Takaru until the end of November 4th. And make sure he doesn't do anything dangerous. Kurusu. Kurusu. Something seemed strange about seemed strange about what she'd said. So I turned to look. As she had already bound to Shinji san and started walking toward Albert Dorm. Settle on minor indisc oh my god. So we've settled on minor indiscretion? That's from the law Tokyo passed banning depictions of sex between non-existent use and anime and manga, right? Because of minor indiscretion? But that was like, what, five or six years ago? Does anyone even remember it? It's better than spit roast for a chick who got burned to death. Hey, how about underage indiscretion? Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh wow, this is horrible. Oh my god, wow. Absolutely disgusting. Oh god. What the fuck? This is disgusting. Little Yui, the underage girl, huh? Yui was great, was so hot. That was really hot. Was that guy named Shuoyu Yori. Was that crazy way you used to spit roast and beer? Be oh, fucking hell. What the hell? What the actual hell? This is disgusting. Absolutely right, Sir Venice. Skulls all the way. What the fuck? Officer, there's a pervert in this thread. This is this is a cognito hazard. Oh god. Anyway, the killer's not supposed to get caught. What do we do on eleven four, lol? Oh, I'm rolling. Oh god, the police have been notified. Yeah, seriously. Fucking tell the police on this sicko. God, give me get off this page. My God, Takudu must want to fucking murder those guys. Screw you, assholes! Seriously, what the hell? Yeah, you, I could see. Yeah, ta this is one hundred thousand percent deserved anger. What the hell? Sadly, that is the internet. God. I had to stop myself from smashing the newspaper club's computer monitor. I came very close to depriving Kazuki of a means of playing ESO 2. Is Kazuki gonna do anything at all in the story? <laughs> My god. Oh, that was one of the worst things I've ever read. Oh god. Fucking hell. Serika, Kazuki, and Arimura were watching me in shock from a corner of the room. <laughs> Minor indiscretion. Fuck you! Yui. Yui died so goddamn horribly. So what the fuck are you all random assholes doing? Ganging up on it with what might be well be a second rape? Fuck all of you! Serika can sense he's... He's... He's really angry. Serika, you didn't see what they wrote. Uh, Toku? Are you okay? Huh? huh? Serika's worried voice brought me back to reality. My hands were red from when I'd slammed them on the desk, and they stuck. They might swell up soon. Oh, oh. sorry, everyone. I glanced one last time at the ad channel comments and closed the browser. Yeah, don't even look at that. Oh god, that is just sick. Sick. 
Long time no see, he and I. I warned you this morning not to look at our channel for a little while. <laughs> Kazuki, you gonna do anything? I cannot believe that Kazuki has a root. Are you you're serious, Olga, that Kazuki has a root? Uh, wow. <laughs> she better do something soon. I was looking for information on the internet and couldn't help myself. I should never have looked at that nest of self-proclaimed right siders. <sighs> they were nothing but idiots being cleverly manipulated by paid professionals. Taku, it's such character development. Really horrible people do, Void Dweller. Kazuki has the funniest root? Really? It's wacky? Oh my god. The fell. Jeez. No, I guess I used to be too. Taku, you were only barely. I'd been one of them too. At least up until Revolving Dead. But as I started to become a part of the murders, I began to realize how irresponsible and insensitive the information disseminated on the internet was, and how awful the reality could be. It was calm. I had once been proud of my status as a right sider, but now the whole thing felt like a punishment. Oh, God. Since you've already seen it, I'll tell you. Ito Senpai's personal information is up there, too. They're talking about whether or not he's the killer. It was only a few days ago they were all convinced it was Minamisawa Senri. I mean, it could still be. I stood and picked up the map we pulled off the wall. I put it back up on the board. What are you going to do? I don't even know what to do. 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 I'm going to look at all the information we found so far. And make sure we didn't miss anything. There might be a clue to the real killer. Whoever did that to Yui, I wasn't letting them get a get away. I'd find them and then I'd... Then I'd... Should we call Kurusu-senpai then? No, she said she wanted to focus on helping the student council. She just wants to keep busy no matter what. Otherwise, she remembers what happens to Yui. So I see. For some reason, Arimura looks suspicious for a second. It would take a while for me to figure out what her expression meant. At the time, I really didn't think anything of it. 
最初の事件こっちみんなと2番目の事件オトモレターについては僕は直接関わっていないだから保留にしておくとして I wasn't personally involved in the first incident Don't look or the second audio bleed So we can come back to those later 3番目の事件回転デッドここからが本題だ We'll start with the third case, Revolving Dead. That's where you met me, wasn't it? Ah. Yes, and I've been wondering if there was anything we missed there. It's the door. The door. So now we know that it was Taku, like experimenting with his powers that was opening and closing, that was locking and unlocking these doors. And they even heard the, the knock. There's something we haven't talked about because we didn't think it was that important. Do you remember, remember what it is, Onoe? Huh? What is it? Locked door, I'm guessing. No, we thought. Oh, god damn, we already know it's my power. The non think. Oh, we get another try? Okay, thank god. Woo! We got a quick save here, right? Okay, jeez. Oh god damn it, that's about the hotel room for the camera. It was just an urban legend. You love a tiger. Oh god damn it, I fucked it up. Oh god. Uh quick load. Jeez. Really? It was the police not stopping with the uniforms? I didn't think any of that, anything of that. Yeah, and you and I were walking through the Love Hotel in our school uniforms. Normally, that policeman would have stopped us or taken us in, right? That's right. Onoe got a couple of the couple of the couple of the couple of the I thought that only way had fooled him by pretending we were a couple. But that doesn't make any sense now that I think about it. Hekiho's uniform stand out. There's no way a policeman wouldn't notice. But we were ignored. At the time it felt strange. Uh, oh, we can make... Okay, we're making... We, we can make as many mistakes here as we want. Okay. Uh, I think you're overthinking things, Taku. Oh, really? So they would want Taku to go in the room? But why? That... No, thinking back, that officer was probably being mind controlled by the killer. That's right, we know the killer was there. Because of the knock. 
Mind controlled? Why? Bokurao, Arimura Tachino Iru Satsin game by Michibik Tametoka. To lead us to the murder scene where Arimura was. But why would the killer want Arimura to get involved? Dokara, Nose Sona Hitsioga? But why? Yeah, exactly. Sorewa Mada Wakaranai. Ato de Mochito Kangai de Miru. I don't know yet. Let's come back to it. Real killer wanted Taku to see the murder scene. If the goal was to show me a brutal murder scene and leave me to our Mora, then why? So not Sugino Jigendoa, Konoga Kunde Netokshan Watabe Korosareta. Next with the murder of Watabe, the internet journalist, at our school. Kono Jigenimo, Minoga Stere Point Togaru. Anotokyo, sorry, Hodo Shigida to Motinakata Kido. Yok Kangaru to Nanka Okashi. There's something else that seems strange here. I didn't really think of it at the time, but it doesn't make sense looking back. What doesn't make sense? What doesn't make sense? Watabe was a famous journalist. Compared to him, well, I hate to say it, but we're not famous at all. We're just a high school newspaper club. But Watabe wanted to interview us. Yeah. That's because you beat into the punch with the sumo stickers, right? And then there was that whole fuss about plagiarism online, and I came to try and distract them from that. Yeah, that's right. See, it doesn't make sense. Why? Neither of you are heavy internet users, right? Yeah, I guess not. About average, I guess. Sonna Futari de Saimamita in Motondro. What a big Jibun no Pacrio Gomakashi Nikitate. Yet even the two of you thought that he was trying to distract the internet from his plagiarism. Summary Bokura to Taida Nankastemo. What a beno ito a mie mie de Yokeni Enjo Sridaketa to Monda. Made it to Nanka Dokonimo Nidaro. In other words, doing the interview with us would have made it obvious what he was after, and just made things worse for his public image. There was nothing in it for him. So, think he was mind controlled into wanting the interview. Oh, Tashkani. Yeah, that's right. Some other thing, but net talk show to stay at the kita watabe ni kaisan deki nai haskanai. Watabe was an internet journalist for a long time. There's no way he wouldn't have known that. Someone as clever as him was capable of coming up with fresher information fast and changing the subject. The internet was always hungry for new things to talk about. Give them a few big scoops and they would forget all about it. Huh? Now what are you trying to say, Taku? This is just my idea, but... Mind controlled. So, Watabe Jishin's are his way to Nakata Kamashiri Nakato. Bokura and Taida Moshikumio. Shiko Yudo Saratitan Janakato. That's right. He probably didn't even realize this, but I think he was being mind controlled as well. So, she did. And on the day of the festival, when everyone was watching, he was killed. Demo, Miyashiro senpai, 
ラブホの件もそうですけどやっぱり動機が分かりません犯人は何がしたかったんです But Miyashiro Senpai The same as with the love hotel I don't understand the motive What did the killer want to do? 動機か Their motive, huh? Arimura was right. What was the point of making Watabe do that? What was their hidden goal? Alright, I'll think about this a little more. I put a note about Watabe up on the board. I put a note about Watabe up on the board. By the way, We know that all the sumo stickers found in his body were fakes. Why didn't they use real ones? Using real sumo stickers to kill Watabe would pose a serious risk to them as well. If the killer had their mind affected like Arimura and I did, they might have been frozen at the scene. Then they wouldn't be able to escape. Yeah, you're always in mass when you never you see those stickers. Arimura nodded several times, frowning. Hontoniadisione, I really hate those things. It's like these nightmarish delusions just take over your mind, and eventually you stop being sure what's a delusion and what's reality. So then, you said it. Do you remember that night, Arimura? That night. Bokto Arimura ga pyro kinesisto. That night when you and I were attacked by the pyrokinetic Haida Riko. You were there too, right, Onoe? You came to my RV. I thought Suniko asked you to go take talk to Nanchan, right? But I went straight home after that. I knew what happened then. I see. But did you notice anything on your way home? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, they were ambushed at, uh... Hello, Vibe, and welcome to the stream. Uh, I, I, I forget which order. It definitely wasn't this one. Uh, where there's suddenly more... I, I know that they got ambushed. It's either that or that. We did encounter the pirate net, but... Okay, it wasn't near the entrance to the park. Yeah, right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. Okay, just checking. Okay. Tashikoni, Nanka, Chikuchi, Beta Beta Hatta, ne? Yeah. I remember those stickers were all over the place. Ah, Boko, Kurusuni, Aoto, Mote, Avario, and Katanda. Tokuroga, 
公園や街中の歴史シールの数がいきなり増えてた。Yes, I wanted to go see Kurusu, so I headed out the door. But there were similar stickers all over the park and city. しかも本物のシール。11番目のロールシャッハだ。And they were real stickers. The 11th r o l l s h a r k そのせいで、僕は精神を完全に侵食されそうになった。And they almost completely took over my mind. Uh, Yui just got killed, and t h e r e and、uh, they just talked to Shinjo, and now Tak Takaru is starting from, scr from scratch, square one, trying to figure out、uh, who the killer is. Basically, looking over everything from the start. Arimura seemed to remember what had happened. She gave a little scream and hugged herself tight. The TV news and internet were all talking about the Suma stickers back then. So、some idiots who didn't know what they were went and stuck them up everywhere for fun. The bastards. Yeah, you could come by the middle. Neto ya Terebi no Seja and I on a Kiga Surunda. No, when I think about it, I don't think you can blame the internet or TV. Huh? <laughs> do <laughs> What do you mean? I faced the rest of the group and chose my next words carefully as I tried to figure this out for myself. Whenever a story about the sumo stickers showed up on the internet or TV, I would always go look at it. But all the stickers on the news were fakes. Very few of them were the actual 11th r o a r s h a r k Huh. Smarty, Terebi and Netono Shiro, one at the Eurocondi on the Enchua, Jitsa, Homonoga Dona design Nanoka Shirana in the Which means that if they were just copying what they saw on TV, they wouldn't know what the real design looked like. Sonda Enchino Scutta Shirinate, Ikra Tayo in Hatta Mokoakum, Nantomo Nidaro. They could make a million stickers and it wouldn't bother us, right? Then, why were there so many that night? So, but how could the real killer do that if they were also a gigalomaniac? Doesn't that contradict what he said earlier? <laughs> Unless the real killer used Ito to do it. Mind controlled Ito into doing it. I still think it's like the real Sen. It's gotta be the real Senri or someone related to her. Like someone like who, like either one of the people that experimented on her. Or, like, one of, like, someone who was close to her. And the final, uh, the final on November 4th, uh, like, uh, murder target would either be, uh, Sarek or Nono. Like, either Nono for quote unquote betraying Senri by siding with Takaru, or Sarek for being with Takaru when he saw Senri. And not doing anything as well. It was probably the real killer. They put the real stickers up knowing the effect it would have. Their goal was probably. To awaken us. But what? Why, though? 
Why would they want them to do that? Oh, no, we're, oh, we're, oh, I forgot the order of events. I forgot the order of events, damn it. Yeah, Takuto has the riz of Cool Cat, yet he can't, he can't realize when freaking Serika is trying to sleep with him. God damn it. <laughs> Serika was practically, like, throwing herself at him, and he was just saying, like, Hmm, <laughs> I wonder why Serika wants to sleep in the same bed as me. I have no idea what this could possibly be implying. Like, serious. <laughs> ano yore, bokra hitasra shiru kara nige maatte. We kept running from the stickers that night. Ikitsui ta saki ni, ano haidari ko te hito ga arawareta. Naru hodo. So desu ne. And ran right into Hideriko. I see. That's right. Somebody hunting her. She wrote, but the Hideriko got much you could eat, but she booked out you do stand up. In other words, the killer led us right to where Hideriko was waiting. So stay. Hideriko booked out so ticked up. And Hideriko attacked us. Demo. Can't get the middle. あの人も伊藤先輩と同じだったんですね。思考は操られて、犯人役をやらされただけ。Yeah, she was also mind controlled. But when you think about it, she was no different than Ito Senpai. She was being mind controlled into attacking someone. かわいそうだね。I feel bad for her. Yes, the real killer manipulated us into thinking that she was Minamisawa Senri. The, the killer even went through the trouble of preferring fake evidence. Because the ID. Yeah. Yeah, and who would have that ID to begin with? The real Senri. And so, like, so I, that's why I think the real Senri is the one mind controlling everybody. Out of her misguided freaking desire for revenge, for Takudu not doing a thing, not like rescuing her from evil scientists when he was fucking 10 years old. Like, seriously. God damn it. Evidence, huh? The reason we completely believed that Hideriko was Minamisawa Senri was... Minamisawa Senri no ID card. Are you completely damaged? Minamisawa Senri's ID card. That completely fooled us. But why did she have that ID card? But why did she even have that ID card? No idea. It's a complete mystery. But the reason why, I think, is because it's the real Senri. is the actual mastermind. I <laughs> think, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's exactly what I just said, Hinai. This is just an idea. But the real Minamisawa Senri might be alive, and she was trying to pin the blame on Hideriko. Yeah, well, why is that impossible? But Kurusu kept saying that's impossible. Yep, same. Oh, I don't think she's working with her. That's a step too far. I do think she's trying to protect her friend, though, from being suspected. I think Karusu Senpai is just trying to protect her. It's possible that uh, she's working with the Winabisa with Senri. Hey, 
There are some things you just shouldn't say. I almost screamed at Ari Moore. Was she trying to tell me that Caruso worked with the killer to do that to Yui? But Kazuki grabbed my shirt and stopped me. She shook her head as if telling me to calm down. Taku? Don't get mad. You're scaring me. Oh, sorry. Arimura, I, I owe you an apology too. No, I'm sorry. That was careless of me. But Miyashiro Senpai, if you're going to suspect someone, you should suspect everyone. You remember that Karusa Senpai lied in front of me once already, right? She was right. Karusa had insisted that Minamisawa Senri was dead. But she hadn't actually seen her die. Of course, that goes for me, Seri, and Hana, too. Huh? They're like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> but that means I can't trust anybody. After what happened with Ito Senpai, that's probably a good idea. I was really good at Ito I liked Ito Senpai a lot. Of course, I wasn't in love with him or anything, but he was always so honest. Ah! Even if he lied, it was always so obvious. And his lies were never the bad kind that hurt people. He was a really good person, so... So for the first time, I'm wishing I'd used my power better. Arimura. Hina-chan. Hina-chan. For a while, I was always regretting it. I thought I wanted such power. But in the end, I didn't want to be able to use words of people. Until now, I'd always regretted wishing for this power. I'd always thought it was better not to know the real meaning behind people's words. But now I regret it even more. If I'd used my power better, I could have realized that something was wrong with what Ito Senpai was saying. I could have saved Yui san. Arimura had such a sad look in her eyes. Right, bye, Olga. Yeah, she got. Arimura no se janai. 
No, it's not your fault. I sighed a little and moved away from the map. Lunch time's almost over. That's enough. あ、でも Oh, but Kazuki can come and play ESO too if she wants. I'll leave the door unlocked. Mm. I forced myself to smile, but Kazuki softly lowered her eyes as if to say no. The sun set early in late autumn. Just like I said over lunch, there was no club meeting that day. I had a short conversation with Serica and then headed straight for Alba Dorm. Even so, it was already starting to get dark, and it was easy to imagine some hidden attacker lurking in the shadows. But there was more than f just fear inside me now. Of course, I was afraid of the murderer. I was afraid of being killed in some horrible way, and of dying in incredible pain. But I could also feel a black rage rearing its ugly head inside me. You're going to pay for what you did to Yui! Whoever the fuck you are, I will find you, and I will tear you into tiny, bloody little shreds! Those feelings grew inside me with each passing moment. Oh, God. Can you guys fuck off? Oh, you're Miyashiro Takaku kun right? Can we talk to you for a minute? You were the first person to find your body, right? What was it like seeing your sister horribly, brutally murdered? Oh, can these people just fuck off? Seriously. The media was still camped out around Albertall. Actually, because of what happened to Yui, there was more there were more of them than ever. Oh, now that we were victims, in their minds that made them our self-appointed heroic defenders. They got an even bold. They say it was your best friend who was the killer. Is that right? You must be shocked, aren't you? How do you want him to apologize to you? God, what the hell? Oh, what the fuck? Why do you think your friend did this? Was there something bothering him? Shut up! Do you want me to do the same thing to you that he did to her? Shit. Ooh. Oh, wow. Takuru. So yeah, this red is like Takuru's full power, like slowly awakening or something. Is what it feels like. Several of the lights the reporters were holding shattered at the same time. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yep. If he goes full red one day, he's going to fully awaken his really cool looking D-sword. Then I suddenly came back to my senses. Shocked at the strong impulse I'd felt in the eerie light as the D-sword was giving that the D-sword was giving off. Two days left. Nothing. 
Today's still only November 2nd. Nothing will happen until the 4th. Nothing. I pushed my way past the media and ran inside the dorm, repeating those words as if they were a magic spell. I'm back. I tried to calm myself down and act like nothing had happened. If Yuto heard me yelling, it would wake him up. Welcome back. Takuru-san. I saw tiny little Yamazo, uh, Uki, peeking at me from the kitchen. We still weren't used to calling each other by our first names. Dinner is almost done. Arigato. Thank you. None of us, including Dad, really wanted to eat anything. But she made dinner every night anyway. That was probably her own way of struggling against the sadness, I thought. Where are Dad and Caruso? The doctor is with the police. It's about Yui-san. I see. Nono-san has taken care of Yutokun in the exam room. No, Uki. Okay. Hey, Uki. Hi. Yes. Kyoa it's fine for today, but two days from now, on the fourth, make sure you're not alone at any point in time. Stay with everyone. Don't go outside no matter who tells you to. Got it? Um, does that include you, Takuru-san? Ah, so da. That's right. Don't trust anyone. I remembered what Arimura had said, and my heart ached a little. Uki mumbled to herself for a moment, seemingly considering my words. Then she nodded. I'll go check on Yuto. Please tell Nono-san that dinner is ready too. I'll take care of Yuto-kun. Got it. I left the dining room and quietly went downstairs to the clinic. When I opened the door, Yuto was lying on the bed and looking up at the ceiling. He was showing more emotion than he had, be had been right after it happened, and he would answer when you spoke to him now. But he was being given strong psychotropics, and spent most of his time asleep or barely alert. Yuto? Yuto? Oh, welcome home. How are you doing? Better. I'm fine now. He forced himself to smile, probably because he didn't want to worry. But the muscles that controlled his face weren't working the way he wanted yet, and it looked more like he was about to cry. Hmm? Kurusu? Huh? Oh, where's Kurusu? 
I looked around and didn't see her near the bed. She, oh, she was exhausted from taking care of him. Over, over there. She's asleep, so leave her alone. I found her at the desk where Dad kept his work computer. She was face down on the desk with the long hair covering up the top half of her body. Her breathing was gentle and rhythmic. The computer was still on. She must have fallen asleep while working on it. Big Sis hasn't been sleeping much. She's been helping me, but she's also doing her student council work, too. She's always sitting at the computer. I told her I'm fine now, but she won't listen. It's Dad's job to tell you when you're fine. So, that's true. Don't worry about stuff too much. Just focus on getting better. Neither of us would bring up a Yiwi. Probably have to wait until Yuto is a lot more grown up. I tapped him on the shoulder, then grabbed the blanket off the other bed, and softly walked over to Caruso. Even with the heater on, I figured she might catch cold if she slept in a place like this. But... Oh, is something on the screen? Huh? I froze when I saw what was on the computer screen. We're displaying several sites that dealt with the return of the new-gen madness. Oh god, yeah, somebody did the freaking Hatsune Miku Simu sticker. And at the very front was the video from Don't Look. It was paused right at the moment where the victim realized it sliced up, sliced up his own arm and passed out in a puddle of blood, tears, and drool. There was a newly bought notebook next to her, filled with words in a pretty handwriting. Some of it was named locations and times that overlap with what we had on the map and the club room wall. But Crusoe had made several sharp insights of her own. For example, incident number two. Why didn't the victim put on makeup for a last street performance? The mind controller is male. He didn't consider that a girl would need to put on makeup. Sunry's ID card. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, here we go. No one but me knew that I buried it under the memorial in remembrance of her. Oh, the killer had to read my mind to dig it up. The killers can read minds. Which means that there are two killers. One who can read minds and one who can control minds. Supports Takuru's multiple killers theory. There was page after page of it. Oh, wow. Potential volume warning, really? I'm amazed that she put this all together in such a short time. But why? Uh. Oh. oh, wow. She must have sensed that I was staring at her because she moved a little. Her almond shaped eyes slowly opened and she blinked several times. And then she raised her head and looked at me. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, it's you, Takuru. Welcome back. So that's interesting. So yeah, Rico visited the memorial and scratched the name of Naoi Sawasenri, and she got the idea. Yeah. So could Rico, Rico read minds? Oh, thank you for that, Liz. That must be where she got the ID card. So wait, wouldn't that mean that... But then... No, but how would the real center even know that, too? So it could still be the real center, because... Like, it's not like the real center would know where... Uh, could know where she buried it, either. I'm home. Here, have a blanket. You'll catch a cold. Oh, no. Did I fall asleep? Thank... And then she seemed to realize her mistake. She quickly reached out her hand to turn off the computer monitor. I grabbed it. Listen, Takuru, this is... I refuse to let go of her hand. What are you doing, Takuru? That's what I should be asking you. Don't tell me you're doing this for the student council. Kurosu flinched a little. This was the exact opposite of how things usually went between us. It was always me who did the flinching. It is. Like hell it is. You're hurting me. Let go. But I kept holding on and glared at her for a while. At first she squirmed a little, but eventually her naturally strong will wore up, won out, and she glared right back at me. I don't know how long we stayed like that, but surprisingly, it was Caruso who gave up first. She silently put her other hand on top of mine. I'm sorry. Just let me go. I relaxed my grip a little and shook her hand away. Why are you doing this on your own? You're you're not thinking of finding the real killer on your own, are you? And you're trying to keep the rest of us out of it too? So, so That's... You'd get mad if I did that, but you're allowed to? Uh... <sighs> Is that what this is? What if the killer comes after you and you end up like Yui? I don't want that to happen. 
Hakuru. Caruso fell silent for a second after I spat out the words. And then she started to talk hesitantly, as if she were uns uncertain of how to say what she was thinking. Uh oh, oh god, the sound fucked up. Oh. Hold on, let me just uh, quickly save. I gotta turn off the. Uh, I gotta turn off the uh, program and reload because the stupid headphone came out and for some reason that fucks up the sound. Let me just quickly turn it off and on again. There we go. Remember what you said before? That it was like the case you was pursuing you now. Yes. It's the same for me. この事件に千里が関わってるって知った時から私はいつも彼女に追われてる Ever since that I learned Sanri was involved she's been following me Huh? huh? Sanri? We now we saw Sanri What did she mean by that? Didn't she say that Sanri died in the Shibuya earthquake? Then that was a lie and Senri was not only after me, but Caruso. So, Caruso does know that it's Senri. Caruso must have sensed my confusion because she shook her head. Senri was a shame, but it's not a shame. I'm going to come back to you. What do you say to me? I'm going to say to you. See, that's what I'm thinking, like, is Senri's consciousness escaped into someone else? Senri died in the earthquake. I know that for a fact. But what's pursuing me is... I don't know how, quite how to describe it, but... It's her ghost. Huh? Huh? My mouth hung open as I struggled to understand what she just said. I'd never imagined she'd use an un unscientific word like ghost. What are you talking about? I don't understand. I'm sorry. This is all I can say right now. I don't have the courage to tell you. Her face twisted in sorrow. So gone. I see. Kurus niwa. Mada taksan boku ni yenai koto ga aru ndana. This. Still a lot of things you can't tell me. Huh, Caruso. What is going on? By the time I realized what I'd said, it was too late. The pain in my heart had come back, and the words had slipped out of my mouth even after I'd sworn that I was never going to say those words to her again. Just like I expected, she looked even more sad. 
Kurusu, no. That wasn't what I meant. Keda. But. I told you before, right? I'm different than who I used to be. And I'm right here in Alba Dorm, right? If I was still going to get mad or upset, I wouldn't come back. Russo sat down on the bed, exhausted. I suddenly realized that Yuto had left. It was dinner time after all, and he probably thought the two of us wanted to be alone. There was a long, long silence after that. Neither Caruso nor I said a word. We just stared at different spots in the room. And eventually, Caruso started to talk. いつか。いつか。たくるにだけは。私が言えないでいること。何もかも全部。話したいと思ってる。そのせいで。また嫌われちゃうかもしれないけど。それでも構わない。What the hell is she talking about? God. Oh God. Someday, I want to tell you all the things I can't say right now. It may make you hate me again, but I can live with that. When that happens, will you let me say everything I need to? Oh. Yes. Thank you. And finally, she smiled. It was a weak smile, which looked like as though it could fade at any second. Hey, Takuru. Hmm? Hmm? Do you remember the day you woke up? Do you remember the day you woke up? After the earthquake. I was really out of it, so not really. Oh God. But I remember the first thing I saw was you cry. So I see. Thinking back, it's kind of strange. Why were you crying? Flag? What flag? Oh, you mean, oh, I get it, like a death flag, yeah. I think she's only going to get to say that stuff on her own route. I, yeah, yeah, I don't think she's going to, I honestly don't think she's going to get to say it. Oh boy, that does, that does definitely sound like a death flag. I don't think she's going to get to say it, yeah. May, on her route, probably, but maybe not the main one, I don't know. That would be so insanely sad if she died. Because I was happy you woke up. Why? Back then, you and I were still, well, strangers. Takuru was so that Takamo Sirenakedo. But as she was Takuru no Koto, each name is out to Mendo Mitekitano. Wow, she need to teva. Taisa Kazoko no Ichi Minate Tamono. Maybe that was true for you, but I did taken care of you for over a year. You were a part of my family. The fragile smile was still on her face. 
だからお姉ちゃんはタクルのことなら何でも知ってるのよ恥ずかしくて他の女の子には言えないようなことまで全部ね Really? But wasn't he in like a coma? How would she know these things? So, I know everything there is about you. Even the stuff you're too embarrassed to tell the other girls. Stop it. You're not supposed to say that. So that the one, eh? Go me. Mo, you want it? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you're right. I won't do it again. And then the silence returned. It was as if the two of us were trapped by memories of the past, and I'd forgotten that time even existed. Um. And then time started to move again. Oh, that's right. We missed dinner. I'm sorry. No, I'll warm it up again. I'm sorry, Yuki-chan. Uki may or may not have been able to tell what was going on between us, but she left for the upstairs dorm without another word. Takuru, Takuru? Go on ahead. Wakata. Ah, Sure. Oh, Kurusu? As she got up for the bed and had headed for the dorm, I called out to her. Oh, so she did a uh, uh, like nursing home type care. Wow. Oh my god. So yeah, she really. So that's what she meant. L thank you, Liz. Okay. I didn't realize that. Huh? What is it? Her soft chestnut hair flew upward as she spun around. Booker. I. I. As I looked into her beautifully colored eyes, I was finally able to say. Momo. Kazoku no tare mo shinai taku nai na. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, this is such a death flag. Oh god. I. I don't want to lose any more of my family. How long had it been since I called Kurusu part of my family? Oh my god. Her eyes went wide for a moment, and then suddenly she started to cry. Takuru. Takuru. Takara, honto ni tanamu. Yamete kure. Hitori de hanin sagashi nante kiken na koto. Oh god, oh god, I don't like all these flags! Oh god, these death flags! Oh god. So really, don't do this. Don't try to find the killer on your own. If that happened to you, if what happened to you, we happened to you. That's pathetic. I'm not supposed to cry. Fine. I won't. I wonder if she's actually going to do it or not. Oh god, oh god. I don't think either of them. 
私を置いて消えてしまわないって Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I, 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 I do actually have that list as a counter. I do, does it, let me see if it's, oh no, I'm not going to ruin this moment and do it right now. I can, oh god. So, promise me, Tokuru. Promise me that you won't leave me behind and disappear on me. Oh god. <laughs> yes. What is it? Oh God! I can't take it. I can't take all of this sadness. She probably didn't even know what she was doing, but she ran up to me and buried her face in my chest. She wrapped her arms around me as if she refused to let me go. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> and cried for a long, long time. Calling out Yui's name in a tiny voice. Kurusu. Kurusu. Until now, I'd always been bothered by the idea of a family. I thought it was just a heavy, annoying chain that kept me stuck in one place. But I was wrong. Dad, Yui, Yuto, Kurusu, and even Uki now. They were all a part of my family. It was only then that it really hit me that Yui was gone forever. I held Cruz's frail body tight and cried like a baby for a long, long time. Oh my god. November 3rd. Oh, we are one day away from D Day. Okay, you guys. Oh boy. Lots of heavy stuff here. Rusu getting a lot of death flags there. Oh boy, I am just. Oh boy, we knew this would be a depressing episode, but dang. I could show you guys the, uh, let's see, for those who haven't seen it, the, uh, the goat coon, um, uh, sound effect I have there. I, I. Olga set that up so we, I can have it. But uh, thank you all so much for uh, joining me for this stream. We will continue. Uh, we'll continue this on uh, today is Friday, so Tuesday, and trails will continue on Sunday. So until then, I will say so long, farewell. Of we design good night. You're all the sweetest of hearts. See ya. Oh, are you kidding, Vi Vibing Guy? Umineko is my fucking life. I I Umineko is is uh, my absolute 100% favorite visual novel ever. Favorite story ever, even. Like. I, uh, I did a big stream of it. It was one of my first streams I ever did on this channel. But until next time, I will say, see ya. <laughs>